if you're watching this video right now and you haven't done your skincare get up get your products and let's do our skincare <music> Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're in my bathroom and I hope you guys can't hear the air conditioner, but we're going to be doing our morning skincare together and I'm going to share with you guys my favorite moisturizers for the summer. So first, obviously you want to start with cleaning your face. I already, well, mm, scratch that. We're going too fast. You want to start with brushing your teeth. Anything morning related, hygiene, skincare is part of you know just pampering yourself but brushing your teeth that's common sense don't be nasty brush your teeth so of course i'm going to start with cleansing my skin now most people or some people i shouldn't say most but some don't use a cleanser i'm not one of those people i love a cleanser in the morning and i definitely love a double cleanse at night so i am going to go in with one this is from target i've been using this for a while if you guys could literally feel the bottle i wish it was like see-through or something so you can see how much of this cleanser i've already used i absolutely love this and it's very very comparable to this one that i have over here which is the youth to the people you guys know i have raved about this in the past i still love this as a cleanser but it's something about this that just has me in a chokehold Now that I look a little crazy, everything is nice and rubbed into the skin. Now I'm going to rinse it off. You want to make sure that you're washing your face for at least a minute or so. So make sure you're doing that to get the cleanest skin possible. And now I'm going to rinse this off my face with, I like to use um, warm, kind of cool water. Room temperature really, I guess. But somewhere in between there. Now that my face is clean but wet, I need to dry it off. And I like to use these little towelettes that I get from Amazon. But you can also purchase them from Clean Skin Club by itself. Actually, I have some down here still in the box. I only put but so much on my counter, but this is what they look like. So these are the Clean Skin Club um, Redefining Clean uh, Clean Towels. <laughs> There's what's well, a lot of clean in that but this is just like the 50 count honestly i think the extra large is the only ones that i've ever seen but maybe they have different sizes not really sure about that but i do get the xl ones and i just cut them in half which is why mine doesn't look that big and i just use half of one to dry my face now it's important for me to make sure that my skin is thoroughly dry before i go in with any products because of what my next product is gonna be, which I will share with you guys. I try not to rub my face too much when I do dry it off, regardless of time of day, um, just because patting the skin dry is obviously better than you know rubbing it, but it's very soft, so I don't feel like it's gonna like damage your skin barrier or anything crazy like that. And then what I do with this when I'm done is just wipe the water from my counter because I can make a mess when I wash my face off so I just use it to clean up the mess and then throw it away and use a clean one the next time I do my skincare so skin is feeling pretty dry but I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes or seconds really just to make sure that it's thoroughly dried and then I'm gonna go in with my favorite product at the moment and it's the Polish Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant now, if you have watched any of my other skincare videos, you guys know how much I actually do love this product. And I stopped using it for a while because I didn't think I really needed it. I implemented it back into my routine and I feel like it's kind of the magic behind the skin, if that makes sense. Now, of course, keep in mind, everybody's skin is different. So what works for me may not work for you. Um, and then I like to just use my hand, honestly, for this. So I just put a couple of drops on my hand, rub it in, and then rub it into the skin. So I rub it in first, make sure it's everywhere that I need it to be, and then I'll press. Just so that I can absorb, or my skin can absorb the product better. 
So after that kind of dries and gets a little tacky, I like to go in with a hyaluronic acid. The one that I'm currently using is from Glow Recipe. This is their Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum. And I just take about mm, four pumps on my hand, rub that in as well, and then apply it to my skin. This has like a jelly-like texture. It doesn't really smell. Maybe like a little hint of something, but not anything really at the same time. And I also take it down my neck. Whatever I put on my face, I make sure I'm bringing it down to my neck because that's super important. So you just want to make sure that you're distributing your products in all the right places. Just a little tidbit um, when it comes to the lips maybe like a hack or whatever, but I like to take some of my hyaluronic acid serum, whatever it is that I'm using at the moment. And of course right now, this is the one I'm using, but I just like to apply a little bit to my lips because it also helps promote that hydration. And then when I put my uh, lip chap on later or at the end of my routine, it's just like sealing this in it, that makes sense. So yeah, just a little, tidbit just like with your skin you know you apply your hyaluronic acid and then you apply your other stuff on top of it just to lock it in so I feel like it does the same thing for the lips so if you struggle with dry lips crack lips whatever give that a shot um, and then now we're gonna go in with moisturizer before I actually put on my moisturizer I want to share with you guys some of the ones that I've been loving for summer. So I have three different ones that I kind of go in between. So my first moisturizer that I would um, highly recommend is this one from Summer Fridays. I love this moisturizer so much. This was like my first moisturizer gel cream wise stepping back into gel creams because if you know, you know, I used to stay away from them at all cost. And now I feel like I gravitate more towards a gel cream than an actual cream, especially during the summer because it's just so much more better for my skin. I don't know, lightweight, airy, your skin can still breathe, but it's also still locking in that moisture. It's just great. So again, this is the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. And just to kind of prove to you guys, like I really, really love this. It's basically almost empty. I have a a little bit of product left at the bottom of that so this one's almost gone but clearly I love it and then I also have the belief the true aqua bomb anything aqua bomb is so good um, I really really love this one and actually I've been using this quite often but today we're gonna use something else again just very moisturizing on the skin gives you a nice glow and it's just it's amazing. So if you haven't tried a gel cream before, you really should try, especially during summer. And then lastly, which is the one I'm going to go in with, this is the Biosance Squalene Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. So I'm actually going to be applying this one. And just like the name says, it is a gel moisturizer. I love anything with squalene in it because it's really like a good ingredient for the skin. And I just put it on awkwardly and then <laughs> I rub it in but oh my gosh you guys this is just so hydrating I like to start at the neck and then I'll work my way up slowly but surely but I want to make sure I evenly distribute this product and it feels so cooling on the skin too there's that the one thing that I kind of skipped over but we can still do is some eye cream so for eye cream I'm using this from Biosense as well. This is the Squalane Marine Algae Eye Cream. As you guys can see, I've used plenty of it. And honestly, any eye cream would work. So I like to just apply a small amount, I guess. And then I will take my finger and like rub it in initially. Just to kind of get the product going. Like so, and then I like to use my new favorite little beauty tool and it just makes me feel I don't know it makes me feel like I'm giving my under eye a massage so it's this little eye roller from Sephora it's metal 
and it's so cooling on the skin it feels so good and I just like roll it gently roll it but roll it underneath the eyes not only is it helping to further kind of smooth out that eye cream that we put there but it's also massaging the eye and I'm sure there are other benefits to this so I just do that for a few seconds and then I go to the other eye it feels so good though if you guys could feel this through the screen you would run and purchase this and I think it was only like what ten dollars at the most it feels so good y'all I can do that <laughs> all morning and the good thing about this though also that I want to share so I'm going to use this just to kind of show you guys but you can pop the little ball part out so you can thoroughly clean this with some alcohol and get it nice and sterilized so that you can use it you know tomorrow or whatever so that's great as well because if you think about it the ball rolling around product is obviously getting to the back of the tool and you need to clean it out so you can keep your skin clean and healthy um after that all we have left is oh let's do our brows real quick no actually i like to put my spf on first so for spf today i am using the hawaiian tropic weightless hydration uh face moisturization spf so it's a 12 hour it's a moisturizer i think hold on it's an oil-free sunscreen lotion so it's like a moisturizer adds moisture to the skin for sure but it also gives you that sps coverage that you need this is 30 um spf you guys know what i say 30 and above is what you should be using and don't be cheap with your sunscreen and i mean in terms of like application so as you guys can see i put on quite a lot mm -hmm. don't i just rub it into the skin Gives my skin a nice, beautiful, radiant glow. My skin really likes this SPF. It can be picky. I don't know if this is mineral or, hmm, I know it's cruelty free. I don't know, but I do like this one. It's very moisturizing and gives a nice glow, but it's also protecting your skin from the sun. So, I'm not going to argue with something that I know my skin loves. And I definitely can look glowy, but I'm okay with that, personally. So if you don't like a extreme glow, don't go for this. But if you like an extreme glow, definitely go for that. Ooh, so you guys see how easily it just like rubbed into the skin. And it does not um, leave a white cast, which is also important. For me personally so if you watch my vlogs you know i've recently gotten this lash serum so this is from the ordinary this is their multi-peptide lash and brow serum and for me i just use it personally for my brows so i like to just take my little color pops fully that i use for my brows and just brush my hairs first and then I'll use my product so it just comes like this this is what the applicator looks like and then I literally just brush it into the brows nothing crazy I kind of just follow my natural brow hairs I guess and just kind of stroke it in that motion like that and just make sure that everything is nice and coated and then I just leave it let it dry boom just like that do I feel like this is working I want to say yes but I don't really know but I do it every day faithfully and then of course last we need some lip chat so remember we put that hyaluronic acid serum on honestly I could have waited um for this step right here to put it on my lips specifically but I also like to um, make sure that I'm putting the SPF on my lips as well so 
All right, you guys, that is my morning skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. As always, I will have the products listed in the description down below. I don't know how much longer this routine will be what I'm doing, but in my opinion, don't fix anything that's not broken. But of course, with weather changes and season changes, sometimes our skincare routine has to change as well. Um, but for now, this is what I'll be doing and what I have been doing. It's what I've been loving. It's what my skin has been loving. And I'm always about giving my skin what it needs. So again, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. You can let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel, bell notification on, so you never miss an upload from me. And I will see each and every one of you, hopefully, in my next upload. Bye, guys.